I'm working on socks today and I've searched for videos on the Barrett and Sock Frame and I have a lot of trouble finding any videos that explain how to set it up on the machine. So I wanted to make this video one as a reminder to myself the next time I do socks that I can look back on this and set up the machine the way it needs to be set up. I'm doing pairs of socks and I want the logo to be on the outside of the socks and I've already got it set up in the machine but I'm going to set it up again just to show you how it's done. So the first thing you do is load your design so we'll go get the design. And we have our design socks with a knockdown stitch. Then we need to go to the, I'm not sure what that's called, but we need to go to this setting and come down to socks number six. And when you are highlighting socks, you'll see the picture right here and it shows two left socks. That's what we want. So we go ahead and select that. And now what we wanna do is position the machine where we need it for the second pair of socks to embroider. It sounds a little confusing, but I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Um, once we do have the machine ready, we'll go ahead and press the start button. If you look down at the hoop area, I have the special sock frame on the machine already. And I've got the socks right here already in the hoop. And I'll show you how to hoop those later, but I've already got these done. I wanna get the setting on the machine and get those lined up. And these are magnetic, so it just easily attaches inside the sock frame and you can attach two at one time. And what's going to happen is these are going to go back and forth, back and forth. So once you start this process using the sock setting on the machine, you'll need to monitor to make sure it doesn't go back and start embroidering over top of the same sock again. You've constantly got to change these out. And just real quick to remove this, you just press down and then it easily comes out. If you just try to pull it out, it's going to be really hard to do. All right, so let's get this lined up. We need to line up our center point with the sock that's on the right. We do that first. So I made a little template right here. Just made a little template. And I set that down inside, and now I'll line up my arrow. So let me get over here. Okay, I've lined up my first sock on the right side, and now I want to come over to the machine and turn the machine on. So up at the display panel, I'm going to go ahead and press start. Not start, but I'm going to go ahead and set my design. Now I'm going to come back over and move the machine to the other sock. And I'll go ahead and get my template and put that on the other sock. good and that is where I will start so I've already got the design loaded 
set up and I'll just do a trace to make sure it looks good. And then we'll start embroidering. just happened because I have the machine set to do socks and I'm having it do both socks identical not mirrored or some other setting so it's coming over to the sock on the right and it's going to do the same exact design what you have to do and what you have to remember when you have your machine set to do socks like I was saying is remove you have to stop the machine yourself and remove a finished sock, and then go ahead and bring over your next sock. And then start the machine again. It's just going to keep going back and forth, back and forth, until you stop it. Again, just to recap, the machine is going to keep going nonstop until it either has an error, runs out of bobbin, or you stop the machine. So you have to remember to stop the machine and change out your socks in order to prevent the machine from embroidering over a sock that was already finished. It's sort of hard to show you all of this with the tripod in my way, but I'm going to do my best. So we finished this sock and I'm going to show you how to hoop on the sock frame. Uh, just to show you the one coming off and that's what it looks like. I've got two pieces of tearaway stabilizer on here. So we just tear that off one layer at a time. And then you have your finished sock. We'll trim off that loose thread right there. And that's it. That's what the customer wants. She wants the three letters with the background stitching. And we tried to make that, um, you know, less apparent, just so that it holds the stitches better over time as it gets washed in the washing machine. Okay, so we have the bottom piece and the top piece. We are going to use two pieces of tearaway stabilizer. You need to lay the longer piece down. And I've got this cut to uh, five inches by two and a half. So it's about five by two and a half. I find that that length is a good length. I don't want it any longer than that. And the reason is because it needs to come over the edges of the bottom hoop. But if it's any longer than that, you either need to fold it again, or it's going to come into the design area and get stitched over. And when it gets stitched over, then it's, of course you have to tear it off the hoop. So that's the only reason. It could be longer, but then you have to tear it off the hoop in addition to getting it off the design. All right, so then I just have the shorter piece that got cut off when I was cutting the stabilizer in the first place, and that's what I'm using for my second layer. Then we need to get the sock on there. So this is just something that you can buy if you want to. You don't have to get this piece. It's just the holder, and I guess a lot of people might mount this onto something but I'm just using it freehand and then just slide the sock over. 
Make sure you've got the correct side of the sock that you want to work with. And then we just slide that over. And for these socks, I'm putting the edge of the sock at the edge of the curve right here. That's where they want it. And try to make sure that the lines are straight. And then we'll go ahead and put the top on. So this needs to be facing the opening of the sock. And line that up. Press down. It's in there nice and tight. And then you are going to peel up the back. Comes off nice and easy. And the sock opening is around the edge of the frame, which is really nice. And now this is ready to go on the machine. All right, we are almost at the end of this informational video about the sock hoop setup and the frame that it uses. I might be using some of the wrong terminology as um, describing some of these parts, so forgive me for that, but this is the frame that's going to hold the two hoops for the socks. At a minimum, you will need to purchase this sock frame and you will need to get two sets of the hoops that are going to hold the sock. And that's gonna be the minimum purchase that you need to make. You'll need two sets of these. So this would be one set, two sets. And then if you want to spend some extra money, you can buy a third and a fourth set of the sock hoops because that will allow you to have a second set ready to go while one is on the machine. Since it's a constantly moving process, it's just nice to have the other set ready to go while one's on the machine. If you want to spend the extra money, you can buy this um, sock hoop holder. It just makes it easier to frame the sock or hoop the sock. So that just goes into the position there and then you'll slide your sock over. You have to have your stabilizer and then the top hoop goes on. And with your sock on here, it's going to be nice and snug as you saw earlier and then you just release. The kind of stabilizer that I'm using is a wash away, tear away. It's called All Stitch Rip Stitch Tear Away 2.0 8x8, 125 pieces. That's what I bought. And what I did is I cut the stabilizer into smaller pieces and then I cut off the excess of that and used it as a second piece. And you have to make it wide enough to go around this bottom hoop, which we saw earlier in the video. I'll just demonstrate again. We at least need the one piece of tear away, and then we put the bottom hoop on, and then that folds over. You don't have to have that second piece of tear away, but I just used it because I had to cut it off anyway and I had it instead of throwing it away. I just went ahead and used it for a little added stability. Um, and then again, we just put that top frame on and we're good to go. All right, I think I've covered everything. And if you have any questions or comments, suggestions, then please feel free to write those in the comments below the video. And I hope you have a great day and I hope this was helpful. Thank you.